Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is the Friday Lego Let's Chat here on the Twitch channel. We have been building the Lego mock set, which is designed by Grandpa Crafter. Sent in as a very lovely gift. Even came in a Citadel branded box. So for folks that need a quick catch up, this is the front gate from West Hill, the town that I've built in Minecraft over the last three years. And this was... Uh, interpreted it was designed in lego by grandpa crafter <clears throat> and sent in and we've been building it every friday uh, for the last few weeks now and so we're going to pick up where we left off we are on pick list number nine which is going to be the north tower with the timbers so it's the, the white part at the top there so we're going to be working on that first things first we've got to Pick up all the parts. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits a few minutes ago. Thanks ever so much. Thanks for all the new follows. Hope everyone's having a good Friday so far. <clears throat> and I know that uh, they can't be typing because they're driving, but I got to hang out with McScrewgun last night. Joined myself and Stephen ESC and Alistair McFly and James the Civilian at a local pub. They were in town dropping some family off in the neighborhood. So it was fun. Very rare that you get to see some of your online community members from around the world in person. Hey, there's a Cosmic Dancer. Well, I guess you can blame the architect for not enough pink in the set because like, well, I'm the one that designed it. Is there anything in here? Yes, there's lots of things in here. Would want to be looking for those later and not being able to find them. All right. Well, we'll start off with the ones that I can see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. No other black pieces. No gray pieces. We're all white and brown today. I need one two by one plate. And one four by one plate. And four one by six plates. Those are eight. Sweet Sandy, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Those aren't on the list. On to the other bags. There's some one by sixes. Four. Eight two by two bricks. Two, four. Six, eight, seven, 
16 two by threes. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Double check. Three, eight. Yep. <clears throat> Lost my voice a little bit from being at the pub last night. It was a good time though. We were there a lot longer than normal. And I'm not sure what the difference was. I mean, this won't matter to anybody that's not local to Halifax Dartmouth, but we normally go to Battery Park. It's a great place. Uh, I'm happy to promote it because they're a local non-chain great staff. But the burgers last night were fantastic. They're always good, but they were much better than normal. I'm not sure what's changed at the restaurant in the last month, but like it was perfect. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Wow, that's a good guess. And now we're on to all brown, no red brown. I do have the Disney villain voice going today. Actually, I was thinking I have Evil Wizard. I just watched the Rings of Power second trailer that starts on August 29th. Immediately sent it to Pixel Riffs and said, holy crap, and asked if he'd like to come back on the Citadel Cafe in September after the 29th premiere and he said yes so folks of <clears throat> that are fans of the spawn chunks podcast and of the Citadel cafe will have that to look forward to <clears throat> yeah i feel like i should be walking around today saying there'll be no dawn for men <laughs> very sour mom. I think I have a better understanding of what they're trying to do, actually, even just from the trailer for the Rings of Power, the way that they're handling Sauron. I, I'm very curious. Um, oh, I can't remember his last name. Don Richards, Don Michaels. He's on TikTok. He's the Lord of the Rings lore guy, and he's very excited. So he seems to be on board with it. And I quite like his content. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 16, 18, 19, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Does anybody know the, that, that link for that guy on? I might be able to find it quickly. Uh, TikTok. Did I like the video is the question. I did. And the username is Don Marshall. Don Marshall with two L's 72 on TikTok. Don Marshall, two L's 72 on TikTok. Fantastic content. Obscure Lord of the Rings facts guy is his tagline. Really like his stuff. Actually, I should see if you should come on the podcast. I'm not sure if you'd be up for that. Uh, what do we 
we're looking for these guys. I think two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Nine of those. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I know Don Marshall who works in entertainment. I wonder if it's the same guy. I don't know. I don't know. Look it up. Look him up on, on, the, on the TikTok. These are two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Eleven of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> so, got it. Um, two by six. Eight. Oh, I think I got them. Mixed in with other pieces. Two, three, four. So that's those taken care of. Two. Forty four of the squares and thirty of the big ones. That's it. A lot of juggling around, just making sure that I stay organized. Another big shout out and thank you to Alistair who helped organize all these in the bags ahead of time. Benzene28, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good Friday. That's 10. Lego and Minecraft, what an amazing combination. Yeah, and this is actually a set uh, designed based on my own Minecraft um, work. So it's Gonna be a mixed bag all afternoon, which is good. I'm here for it. I hope you are too. Vampirium Live, formerly Vampire Maid. Welcome in. 
we'll probably just call you Vampirium from now on. We were just discussing that I have the Disney villain voice today from being at the pub and talking over everybody last night. So, it's a fitting time for you to change your name. You want a custom ringtone? Vampirium is not available right now. Please leave your name, number, and pint of blood at the tone. One, two, three, four, forty-four. Why is that good? Ah, it's just... <laughs> it is... The morning after. Pure luck. Sometimes it's raspy and not good. Sometimes it's deep and works out well. Benzene, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Out of curiosity, does anybody know the amount of Lego bricks that are estimated to exist in the world? Not that are produced by Lego, but like are currently out there circulating around. It's got to be something wild. Because I know there was a stat from a trivia game where what are there more of in the world? And it was like something really crazy. Uh, and then tires was the other answer. But the answer to the trivia question, which um, surprised a lot of people, was tires. Uh, and they're like, well, wait a minute. How are there more? I think it's like, are there more tires than people in the world? Something like that. But what they were including in the statistic was Lego tires, like toy tires. That's 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Okay. You built a thing. Should you post it in the Discord? Yeah, you've got access to the Discord 100%. That's what the Discord is for. There's lots of different channels and categories. So depending on whether it's Minecraft related, Satisfactory related, or Lego related, there's a place for you to put it. I'm going to use... Do I have a bookmark? I don't. Use a bag. That's mostly straight. How many of those were there? National Geographic published a factoid that there are an average of 80 Lego bricks for every person on Earth. 
Holy crap. 80? What's the population of the planet? 4.4 .4 billion or something? No, it's higher than that now. Anybody want to do the math and put a really big number in chat? 22's population via Google is 7.9 billion, would be 63.608 billion. Wow. And I was really off with four. Why do I have four stuck in my head? What I think is messed up about the fact that there are 8 billion people in the world is that there's enough money for every last one of those people to have a billion dollars. And yet they don't. Isn't that messed up? So I guess the problem there is that included in that 7.9 billion people are X number of bad actors and people that we would not want to have access to a billion dollars. But then I guess you've also got to think about the balance of a bunch of people that are also really good that would do really wonderful things with a billion dollars. Thanks for helping out uh, Vampirium with connecting their Twitch sub and their Discord accounts. So for, get, for folks that maybe don't know, you can connect your Twitch and Discord accounts. And then because you have either a gift sub, a prime sub, or have subbed to my channel on your own, you can access the Discord. Just after you make that connection between your accounts, look for the Joel Duggan Discord in your settings connections tab in Discord and you should be able to join. You'll have a role like um, Twitch subscriber or something along those lines. And if you'd like to join a different way, then you can use Patreon at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, and that will get you access for less than the price of one cup of coffee per month. We'll put the black ones over here. Delara resubscribed at tier one. 36 months, three years for Delara. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Delara. Always great to see you. Lots of 
anniversaries this month. I've, there's been uh, a, a one year, a two year, now a three year for people subbing on the channel. That's amazing. We're running a little bit crooked, but I'll allow it. Cool. Glad to see that you made it. A pretty chill Discord server. It's not going to be a huge demand on your time or attention. A lot of people are obviously working adults that just like games and streams and sci-fi and fantasy and it's a nice place to hang out it's a lot of minecraft content obviously but that's also where i record the citadel cafe live uh steven and i did the show live last week that's now available on all your favorite podcasting platforms talked about deadpool and wolverine bubble in my vinyl tabletop. I think this was 44, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three more. Focusing on what you learned from me about Sightlines and Horizons. Oh, very cool. So it sounds like the Minecraft build. Awesome. I'm always happy when my creative process on stream helps people realize what they've got in their head and get it into the Minecraft space. I think Minecraft is one of those games slash tools that's really useful for someone that has an idea, but maybe they're not the best artist in terms of drawing or sculpting or whatever, but because Minecraft kind of gives you this grid of colors and textures to play with, and it's so straightforward at first, so accessible that I think people can really express themselves easily. I've got a couple of people in my life I'd like to try to get into Minecraft, but it's a matter of whether they have the time. It's like, here is this amazing thing that will help you with relaxing and putting your creative ideas out there. I am also sorry <laughs> for the amount of time that this is going to take on you. 
Well, I mean, that's what happened with me. I got into Minecraft after being introduced to it by Stephen ESC. And after I realized how much time I was spending on it, I thought, N I have to, like, move this into some sort of, like, part of my job creatively, or I am going to have to play a lot less because I was starting to play more than I probably should. That was way back in, like, 2017, I think. I think it was just before my vacation to Utah. Or whatever that winter was, that March. really crooked here. Once you make one little crooked line, it just kind of cascades on through. And you're stuck with it. Probably gonna have to move a bunch of this stuff so I'm gonna have room to build. There's always that layout portion of this set. I didn't plan to make a symmetrical shape, but that's not bad. It's not bad. Instructiones. Can you see most of those? I think you can. Fifteen of the bricks and two of the blocks. Risky business. All right, I think I'm gonna to try to build it in this space here. Three, four. Three. And one little square. I 
Uh, that goes there. One, two, three, four. Right. Oh, good. We're going to connect them all. One of the sixes. One, two, three, four, five. So connect those up like that. And then six, one, two, three, four of the eights. Whoops. So we'll connect it roughly, and then we'll see where we can get. A lot of these should get connected by the end of this, though. Well, we've got some bigger chunks. That's good. Just three. That's satisfying Lego Creek. Here we go. And then we've got white pieces for these. All the white pieces. All the black pieces. And I think all of the small square pieces as well. Take care, Cosmic. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Get a good rest in. I think this, these might help connect everything, too. We're down to two sections.
All oh, those to connect there. Okay. The set does get hard to see as we keep going and building taller uh, because the camera is top down. I am looking into uh, getting a different camera. Uh, why do I have a spare one? Did I do something wrong? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I guess I put 20 out when I should have put 19. I guess we'll find out with these. Whoops. Man, that went halfway across the room. Go get that before I forget about it. Elkhorn, the mighty Elkhorn, good to see you. This has got a weird arc to it. I think one of the pieces is kind of bent. We are going to be one extra on this as well. So I feel like I'm missing something here. The fact that I have... Oh no, light. I'm good. I missed that one. This is going to go there. We now have everything connected. Oh, almost. That side's not quite done. Two of those, one of those, one of those, and four of these.
Did I do that wrong? Did that wrong. Still not connected in the corner. These plates are really hard to put on. I feel like I'm forgetting the word again for the difference between the plates with the studs and the plates that have the smooth finish on them. I think these are plates. But then these are something else. Oh, interesting. It's a cool way to do that. Tiles, Grandpa Crafter, thank you, tiles. I knew I was right on plates, but then I was like, how, what are the other ones called? Tiles, thank you. I'm not sure how I ended up doing these in the wrong order. This is a really fun way to get vertical with the build as well. Why do I have two left over? I wasn't supposed to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got forty two. I thought I had forty four of those. Oh, they've been used in here. That goes over one. Cool feels very familiar, <laughs> as one would expect. Uh, 
All 16 of those, four of those, and another 16 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I think what I'll do, considering the time, rather than take a break at the top of the hour uh, for Lego, uh, I think I'll take the opportunity at the end of this pick list to switch over to Minecraft for the rest of the day. I do have some plans this evening and I want to try to make sure I'm giving myself lots of time. Blast Jordan, thanks so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. I know it's late for you there. It's always great to see you at the start of the streams. Maybe one day we'll have a stream where you can hang out for more of it. I know that I'm going to end up probably streaming at some different times once the fall hits and the nice weather changes. Uh, also, uh, we have Satisfactory 1.0 coming out on September 10th. And I haven't looked. What, what day is the week? It's September 10th. Is that a Tuesday? because I will very likely be streaming a very long time that day. I'll probably put a good amount of time in. I'm also going to be loading up Satisfactory ahead of 1.0. Uh, I'm not planning on restarting the world. I'm planning on continuing on with my Devastator build. And I think we're going to have to do some 1.0 prep cleanup in the world. It is Tuesday. So, so yeah, I don't normally stream on Tuesday, but I will 100% be streaming on Tuesday, September 10th. So you can expect that. Probably able to hang out for more once I return from Taiwan to Vietnam. There's another hour in the time zone difference. Oh, that's another reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just impressed that you're tuning in from around the world. I think that's crazy cool. I really appreciate it. You know, we were just talking last night at the at the pub. Uh McScrugan was talking about how it's all part of the story and how how wild it is that you know he's met us through uh, us I mean like Alistair, Stephen and myself um, on the Citadel server through my podcasting and streaming and now has you know traveled up to see us um, a number of times because of just some family in the area and it's really cool. And then I think about farther afield, friends that I've made in the States and Utah, friends that I've made in California. Um, the reach of the spawn trunks is really impressive, actually. I don't know why I stacked those together. I wasn't paying attention. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Of course, Johnny, my co-host on the Spawn Chunks, is from England. So between Johnny and Cosmic and other folks over there, mini packs. I've got friends in Europe as well now. It's really cool. Some of us are as far away as Sweden. This is also neat. Even just to have some of the Mojang developers actually listen to the Spawn Chunks is wild.
Don't forget Africa. That's true. That's true. That's true. Well, this was easier to follow. Wish they weren't as hard to press down. I feel like I'm shaking the whole room. The camera is on a separate table, but the lights are attached to this one. That'll tighten that up. And then we've got these last bricks. A piece there. What I should probably do is just push them down a little bit by hand here on the table and then pick it up and really cinch it in. Probably shakes a lot less. I like this track from Minecraft. It's a fun little song. It has a very Zelda vibe to it. Oh, that piece is very chewed up. Let's see if I can... Switch that for something else. I'm guessing that this piece goes up against the wall. So what I'll do is I'll grab that piece that's a little funky. Where'd it go? There it is. So I'll grab that and I'll just replace it with something from down here that I don't think is going to be seen. That should go up against the walkway, I think. Am I missing pieces? 74, 75? I know that's the first step of the next, the next phase, which I don't have time to do today, I don't think. No. Number 10. So this is going to be the next level of the half timber. Yeah, OK. So I know the LEGO stream is a little bit shorter today, um, but we'll be continuing the stream afternoon with some, with some Minecraft. Uh, this is what it looks like. So we've got this uh, straight flat wall, but then we've got this timber detail on the other sides. And how that works is it will eventually, not now, but probably after the next phase. This. Oh, that fell apart. As I expected it would. Not meant to be moved around. So we've got this part here, and this would eventually go right on like that. When it's all snug and ready to go. But that'll be for next time, I think. Very cool. Once again, Grandpa Crafter, thank you ever so much for sending this in. We will continue with it next Friday. Uh, for folks in the chat, don't go anywhere. We are going to switch the stream over to Minecraft. If you are watching this later on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, then there should be a video following this uh, about the iron farm on the Citadel, which is what we are 100% going to be working on for the rest of the afternoon. 
So again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just to kind of close this video out, if this is the only one that you're watching, you can follow me on Twitch at Joel Duggan. You can follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. Listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast. They are both free. It's a great way to support me uh, just by listening to some cool content about Minecraft and about sci-fi and fantasy stuff, respectively. Really looking forward to the Rings of Power starting later this month. That's going to be a fun conversation on the Citadel Cafe. Right now we talked about Deadpool and Wolverine. That's the latest one right now. And I will see you all either next time here for LEGO or in just a few minutes on the Minecraft server. So hold on to your nuggets. The stream will restart. I will be right back.